So in this video, we'll explore the each loop. Now, Edge basically lets you iterate over arrays and both objects. Now, if you look at the documentation, you can see we can make use of the add the right each tag and then basically loop over the variable users. And here we get the output. Let's check it out in action. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically define some users out here. So I'm going to say constant users and it will be, be a basically, you know, a plain array of usernames. So work, uh, another one, Nick, and let's have one more called Joe. And we're basically going to pass these users out here. And within our welcome template, we're going to write it each loop. So we're going to say, uh, at the rate, uh, each user and users, and we need to close the tag. And out here, we're going to say li user. Okay, so come back, refresh. Yep, we do see all the three usernames. Now, something really interesting about uh, the each loop is it gives you a global dollar loop variable, which you can use to do some really interesting things. Let's say we want to put the numbers in front of these names. So what we can do is we can say at the rate, uh, basically dollar loop dot index plus one. So basically the index is the zero and doing plus one will give us one. So if we come back, we do see one, two, three. That's really not all. We can do some other really cool things. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an even or an odd class to our allies. So what we're going to do is uh, dollar loop dot is odd. Then we're going to say add the odd class, otherwise add the even class. Okay. So come back. And if you look at our uh, LIs, we can see the first one has an odd, even odd. So, and if you want to check out what all properties you can access on the loop variable, you can check it out inside the documentation. So you can pull the index, you can figure out whether it's the first uh, item in in the iteration or not, whether it's the last item, how many total items are there, is even or is odd. Now, there is something really uh, interesting about the each loop that you can combine it with an else loop. So let's say uh, if the user does not exist, we want to show a fallback messages like no users found, right? And out here, we're basically going to set it to an empty array. So we're going to say this come back, do a quick re refresh, it says no users found. So now we'll get it back, refresh, yep, we do get all of our three users. Now, if we'll take one step ahead, it's a very common practice to basically include some partial within each loop. Like for example, you're looping over all the users and you basically want to display the profile for that user, which will have a good amount of markup inside it. Now, instead of writing all that markup inline, what you can do is you can basically create a partial and include it here. So we're going to say at the right include partials.users and we'll create uh, this partial. So we're going to say resources views partials user.edge. And we're basically going to uh, put our entire markup inside this partial file. Now, another important thing to know is instead of using, you know, a slash, Edge makes use of the dot notation, which is basically easier to read and understand. So if you'll come back, refresh, yep, the output is still the same. Now, if you will look at the entire markup, all we are really doing is starting the each loop then we are including a template and then we are closing the each loop. Uh, wouldn't it be great if we can do something like this, partials.user and get rid of this statement? Oh yeah, that really works. Now there is another thing. Right now we are starting the each loop and closing it, right? And ideally this particular statement really has no value, but we just need it to make sure that the compiler is not throwing an error. Now, Edge really gets interesting out here. What you can do is you can even self-close the block level tags. So right now, we don't need anything inside the each tag body. So what we can do is we can self-close the tag by saying add the rate and this particular exclamation mark. So if you come back, yep, the output is still the same. 
Now I believe you're getting really interested about Edge. Don't worry, in the next video, your excitement will double.